This is a gravity knife, and if you watch a lot of YouTube or TikTok videos, you might be under the impression that this is the most dangerous and most illegal knife you can carry. And that simply isn't true anymore, maybe at one point or another in certain states, but a lot of states made the gravity knife legal to carry with some restrictions. And that's why I wanted to make this video because I wanted to talk about why the gravity knife was considered so dangerous for so long, especially in a world where the CO2 knife exists, a ballistic knife exists. This is just a knife where gravity makes it open, the blade pops out with gravity, and that's it. And to close it, you can do the exact same thing. So what makes this knife so dangerous and why did lawmakers consider this so illegal to carry but before we jump into this let me explain a few things so knife laws can vary from state to state and within the state counties and towns can have their own laws that are different from the state for example i live in new york state which has some of the broadest knife restrictions in the country and the law here says i can carry a blade that's four inches or under but there's other restrictions on that as well based on how the knife is deployed such as an OTF. If it's assisted in any way, such as an OTF or an out the side knife, it is illegal for me to carry without a permit. But this conversation is for a whole other video. I just wanna concentrate on New York because if I talked about every single state, this video would be two hours long. So let's read from this article from Papaladaro Law. It says, on May 30th, 2019, Governor Cuomo signed into law a bill removing criminal sanctions for the possession of gravity knives. This bill brings the state laws into line with a recent federal court decision which found that New York's legislative scheme was too vague and therefore unconstitutional. So that sentence right there is really interesting where it says too vague and therefore unconstitutional. Because if you look at the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Now, arms aren't specific to guns. Knives should fall under that category as well. So based on the Second Amendment, any knife laws in any state are unconstitutional. Now let's continue here. It says, through this bill, the state legislator has removed the term gravity knife from certain penal law provisions, therefore making their mere possession legal. In addition, such knives will also no longer be considered to be deadly weapons under the law. New York law defines a gravity knife as a knife where the blade can be opened because of gravity or a flick of the wrist. They were banned in New York in the 1950s due to a series of knife crimes. In contrast, switchblades and other types of knives require the push of a button to open the blade automatically. And this is where it gets really interesting. Under this penal law code right here, gravity knife means any knife which has a blade which is released from the handle or sheath thereof by the force of gravity or the application of centrifugal force which when released, is locked in place by means of a button, spring, lever, or other device. And then it goes on to explain how law enforcement was abusing this law by something called the wrist flick test. If a knife could be opened with the flick of the wrist, regardless of its category, law enforcement considered it a gravity knife and therefore you got arrested. So law enforcement was abusing this gravity knife law based on the definition of a gravity knife and putting people through the court system and using them as a flow of revenue. So thankfully that law was removed May 30th, 2019 by Governor Cuomo. But herein lies the problem, especially here in New York, where they say that the gravity knife is now legal to carry. If I'm caught with this knife, I could still be arrested. And why is that? Because the state considers this sort of a thug knife, where if I'm carrying this knife, my intention is to commit a crime with it, which is ridiculous because if I was a criminal and my intention was to commit a crime, I think this would be on the bottom of that list. Not only because it's impractical to carry and to use on an everyday basis, which it is, but on top of that, I'm just not going to use an extremely limited $300 knife to commit a crime with. I'm going to use the cheapest, most readily available thing that I can find, and most likely it's going to be a kitchen knife from my kitchen. And if you guys watch a lot of news, that's exactly what they do. How many news reports do you guys see where somebody goes on a crime spree using a Riot XO gravity knife? I'm gonna say zero. So now you guys see why people are so confused when it comes to knife laws, because they're written in a way that's so vague and gives the state and law enforcement the advantage. In fact, I have a couple friends in law enforcement and when I ask them about local knife laws here where I live, they couldn't even tell me, they have no idea. 
Now that's a scary thought. In fact, when I was doing research for this video, there's so many articles that contradict one another. It got me so confused that I had no idea what I was even reading. But I'm getting a little off track here. So let's get back to the gravity knife and what could be considered a gravity knife, especially under the old law, and maybe what still could be considered a gravity knife if it's still illegal in your state. So as I already showed you, the Riyadh XO can literally be open just with gravity by itself. There is no button lock or anything holding this in place. Basically, your grip holds this knife into place. But since a gravity knife uses a button trigger or fulcrum lever to release the blade from both the open and closed positions, what else could be considered a gravity knife? Well, let's talk about a button lock knife. A button lock knife literally has a button right here on the side where if you press it, it releases the blade. Now this is a Protec Malibu, but technically any knife with a button lock could be considered a gravity knife under that definition. Because as soon as I press that button, look at this, I can just freely open and close this knife at will. Next, this is the Benchmade Mini Adamus, which features the axis lock, but any crossbar lock here would fall under the same category. All I have to do is pull back the crossbar lock right there and it freely opens and closes the blade. Next, this is the Demco AD 20.5 with one of my favorite locks of all time, the shark lock right here. It's absolutely fantastic. As soon as I release that lock, a flick of the wrist opens this knife. So with these examples, you can see why and how law enforcement was abusing these laws and considering some of these knives, gravity knives, especially based on the definition of a gravity knife. And then there's also the World War II era gravity knife, the LGK knife, which I don't have. It's easily one of the most recognizable gravity knives and is deployed with the push of a lever that deploys the knife out of the front. Now reading from Wikipedia right here, it says first produced in 1937, uh, it was initially issued to German flight crews and paratroops, primarily for the purpose of cutting a trapped parachutist from his rigging in case he landed with a tangled parachute in a tree or whatever. So the very first gravity knives were created to work one-handed just in case somebody had to cut a paratrooper from a tree. And it wasn't intended to be used in combat, well, at least until 1944, where it was used on the Eastern Front. So the bottom line is, if you guys live in a red state where you have no knife laws, you have nothing to worry about. But for those of you who live in a blue state, such as myself, New York, California, Massachusetts, which are known for having absolutely insane knife laws, hopefully this video helped clear up a few things and maybe even raised a few more questions you might have, especially with that vague definition of a gravity knife. Could I carry this in my state or not? I have no idea. If New York is telling me that gravity knives are now legal, but I still can't carry it because if I carry it, my intention is to commit a crime, that's guilty until proven innocent. And all it does is raise more questions and still give all the power to law enforcement and the state.